North Korea's strategy of launching trash-filled balloons into South Korea has greatly disrupted air travel in Seoul. Since May, over 5,500 balloons have crossed the border, bringing heightened tensions and forcing temporary airport runway closures. These balloons, propelled by wind, have landed in critical areas, including near the presidential office and airport runways. Although authorities promptly removed the debris, some balloons burst upon landing, scattering waste and littering areas. The impact on air travel has been significant. Incheon International Airport, one of the world's busiest airports, has experienced frequent disruptions. Since June 1st, the airport has faced 20 days of runway closures affecting both takeoffs and landings. A notable incident occurred on June 26th, when runways were closed for 166 minutes due to balloon presence, marking the longest recorded shutdown. On September 23rd, another closure lasted 90 minutes, affecting numerous flights. South Korea's Aviation Authority has emphasized that safety considerations dictate runway closures whenever a balloon is detected, regardless of its specific distance from the airport. This cautious approach aims to ensure passenger safety. The South Korean military has taken the balloon launches very seriously, remaining on high alert and ready to respond as needed. The military's vigilant stance underscores the importance of security in the face of these provocations. In retaliation, South Korea has threatened severe measures such as broadcasting propaganda from loudspeakers at the border. These actions are intended to deter North Korea from continuing its unconventional tactics. North Korea had paused its balloon campaign, but resumed after South Korean activists sent K-pop and propaganda leaflets across the border. Despite warnings, some activists continue to dispatch materials criticizing North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The use of balloons highlights the ongoing unconventional rivalry between North and South Korea. Both sides employ non-traditional methods to gain an upper hand, reflecting the strained relations between the two nations. This conflict over balloon launches not only underscores the tense relationship, but also signifies the broader geopolitical challenges in the Korean peninsula. As the situation unfolds, Aviation safety and regional stability remain top concerns for both countries.